Cubs start a three-game series against the Philadelphia Phillies at Wrigley Field. That'll start the month of July. Cubs have been struggling, and it looks like the Cubs will be sellers, not buyers, at the trade deadline. And maybe one of those customers is the Phillies. We're going to get into that. Ian Happ, Cody Bellinger, maybe Nico Horner going to different places. But we're going to focus on the Phillies why they would be interested in Ian Happ, according to reports. All that right here on the Cubs Baseball channel. Like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you guys for hanging out with us, and let's get the show started. All right, let's get into it right now. And this is kind of what started the entire conversation. MLB.com's Mark Feinstein said that the Phillies were interested in Ian Happ. Now, what does that mean, Ian Happ to the Phillies? Uh, Why would the Phillies want Ian Happ? Now, I think that Happ is kind of locked in left field. Uh, He can play center. He has played center. But he's a two-time left field gold glove winner. You look at the Phillies. And they've got Brandon Marsh, and they've got Nick Castellanos, who's starting to hit. They've got Kyle Schwarber. You can put a DH, plays left field, but he's not very good. Hap would be a sizable upgrade defensively, but that still doesn't help you with center field. And that's where uh, Johan Rojas and Christian Pache have both been and not really helped this Phillies team a whole lot. They've been uh, – you know, kind of a disappointment. Nick Castellanos starting to hit, though, for the Phillies. But they're dealing with two big injuries. Kyle Schwarber, Schwarbs is out right now, and so is Bryce Harper. And they've, they've been their two best players, obviously, uh, you know, two superstars and uh, two guys that could be out for a while, maybe until the trade deadline, maybe until after the trade deadline. But the Phillies have a sizable lead on Atlanta They've been the best team in baseball. And quite honestly, I was surprised that last year the Phillies didn't get to the World Series. I thought leaving Philadelphia, going to Arizona, they had all of the momentum. I thought they were a much better team. And then all of a sudden they just couldn't hit. So adding someone that could potentially be clutch to their lineup right now when they need them is going to help them down the stretch as well as they try to finish the the job that they started last year and that is get to the World Series and win it, right? Um, when I look at Philadelphia, I think that they have the – obviously they've got the pitching, they've got the defense, but would it make sense for them to make a trade for someone that if they trade with the Cubs that is going to be there for a while? Because the Cubs all have all of these guys that are signed to more than one-year deals, right? And you kept hearing rumors that – they were talking to the uh, the White Sox about Luis Robert. I think Robert's okay, um, and and you know some other players as well. Uh, what Mason Miller, maybe possibly, but Ian Happ. Let me just start with Happ. The Cubs have the Cubs record over the last two months twenty one and thirty four, and lately they've been really bad. And when you go back and you look at the games that they have won, Ian Happ has carried them to the finish line. He's come up with a lot of big hits. Uh, and although the, you know his batting average on the season isn't great, you look at his numbers, they're uh, below par in, in some areas. When you talk about a guy who has willed the team to win, it's been him. I mean, you go back and look, home runs and extra innings, big hits and big games, you know. So I'm sure that to the Phillies, they would love to have that bat and his ability to hit in the clutch. If I was them... You know, I I would think that maybe a better solution would be Cody Bellinger. He's he's got the the contract option for next year, a player's option for around $30 million, and then it drops off the year after that, but he could opt out. But it solves your center field problem. The Phillies were rumored to be in the mix for uh, Cody Bellinger during the offseason, and he eventually signed with the Cubs. But it just hasn't worked in Chicago. It's just not working. The Cubs – aren't winning and he's played he's played fine I mean he's been hurt a little bit but he hasn't been the player that he was last year that carried the Cubs a lot 
Uh, with that said, defensively, he'd be an upgrade. He'd give the Phillies a left-handed bat in their lineup, and he could also play first base. Um, Cubs and Phillies have been trading partners in the past. I mean, we can go all the way back to the Ryan Sandberg deal. You know, it, I mean, w- with Rhino's statue outside, you got to remember his first hit came with the Phillies. He was a throw-in in that trade, right? Um, but even lately, I mean, remember they got Ben Brown from the Phillies, which is a pretty good deal for the Cubs, trading David Robertson a few years ago at the deadline. And if I'm the Phillies, I'm probably pushing a little bit harder for this deal to get done sooner than later if they're serious about making a deal just because they really need that help right now. Uh, But for the Cubs, they're probably going to set a date and say, hey, if we're not in it by this date, we're we're dropping out. And last year, it felt like they were going to sell. The team won some games, made it interesting. They ended up buying. They traded away a starting pitcher for a rental and they didn't make the playoffs. So, you know, to me, I feel like if you're not going to win the World Series and this team just – there's nothing about this team and the way that they've performed this year that tells you that they're capable of winning the World Series. Now, teams have gotten hot before. Teams have caught lightning in a bottle, and it has led them to championships in the past. But nothing about this Cubs team tells me that that's a possibility. Just nothing. And – and uh, and. As much as I'd like that to be a chance, uh, to be a chance, it just doesn't really feel like that. So, you know, why not make a deal right now and start to build the roster for later? Now, two prospects that might not be attainable for the Cubs, Andrew Painter, who is their number one prospect. He's actually coming back from an injury and uh, would be a double A arm an elite arm, you know, maybe you make a trade and say, and the Cubs have done this in the past where they trade for a guy that's on the IL knowing that they're, he's not going to be ready right away, but he eventually will be. Or maybe uh, you look at Aiden Miller, a uh, shortstop second baseman, another one of their top prospects. The Cubs in that area have some pretty good prospects. Matt Shaw being one of them. James Triantos being one. But look, if if you're going to stockpile talent, you might as well do it. Then there's Justin Crawford, whose dad played in the major leagues with Tampa for years. He's an outfielder. I think that it that for the Cubs, there's a couple of things at play here when you look at the Phillies prospect list. I mean, the first thing is that if I'm trading and I'm the Cubs, I need guys that are double, triple A or high A but have the projections of – being in double or triple A and being ready to go to the big leagues in the next year or two, because all these prospects that they had that have come up through their system for the most part are in the upper reaches of the system. So they're guys that are on the verge of getting to the major leagues and that are going to need that opportunity. You know, Owen Casey being at the top of my list for guys that are going to be there. Kate Horton was injured, but he was in triple A when he was hurt, you know? So if you could stack pitching on top of that, uh, at at the, at those levels, I think you do it if you're the Cubs. Now, the other thing that was interesting to me about this prospect list that could um, you know help the Cubs is catching. So Eduardo Tate is one guy who is, and, and he doesn't classify to me uh, because he's uh, in, in rookie ball. But you scroll down, and they've got a couple of catchers here. Caleb Ricketts uh, would be one of them. And if you're Tom Ricketts, hey, why not trade for someone? He's a Triple A catcher. Um, and, uh, the Cubs need help in that area. So the, so the Phillies have some catching prospects and, and, you know, as not a a guy that has not seen those, those catchers, I can't tell you how good they are or not, but that's a definitely an area of need for the Cubs organization. So as this kind of progresses, that's something to keep an eye on. Uh, would the Cubs be willing to make a deal with the Phillies? Well, the answer to that is they've been trading partners in the past. Remember now, Sam Fold is their general manager. Sammy Baseball was a Cub, came up through the Cubs system. He's a guy that's well-liked. I love him. I think one of the smartest baseball guys as a player I've ever, ever been around. And uh, he's doing a great job as a GM. But there would be a comfort level there as well. And the Phillies are this close to – to winning. So it, what we learned when Theo was 
the you know the president of baseball operations in 2016 is that when you get close, you got to go after uh, elite players to win those big games. So, you know, uh, Ian Happ, Cody Bellinger. I've heard rumors that maybe Nico Horner's being looked at by some teams. So interesting kind of where we are right now, but Cubs and Phillies trading partners, you know, could, could they get a deal done? And then Hap goes from one side to the other. Now the other part of this too, is that for Ian Hap to be traded, he's got to agree to, to the trade. So maybe his relationship with, uh, with former teammates, Nick Castellanos or uh, uh, Kyle Schwarber could help in that area too. You say, Hey man, we're really close. And we think you're a, a piece of that. If that's potentially a trade now, Cody Bellinger still, in my mind, is the better fit here. But maybe they don't want to pay the long-term contract, uh, you know. So we'll see. Anyway, that's where we are right now. Cubs will take on the Phillies at seven oh five, and we will be following that for you guys. And uh, we'll talk about it after the game. But um, we'll keep on popping on as these baseball rumors persist. And uh, I, I look forward to the Cubs getting some things done here. Uh, with this team being all but out of the race. You you guys tell me what you think in the comment section. Uh, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll talk to you guys again really soon. Go Cubs.